Did you know that the DJI goggles don't just receive signal from the air unit, they also transmit? It's true. When you increase the output power of these goggles from 25 milliwatts to 500, 700, or even 1200 milliwatts, you're not just increasing the power that comes from the air unit, you're increasing the amount of power that these goggles are blasting right into your face. And some people wonder if that's a health concern, if we should be worried about irradiating our faces and our brains and our eyeballs with microwave radiation from these goggles while we're flying. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. In order to understand whether there's a health risk to wearing the DJI goggles for extended periods of time, we gotta talk about the difference between ionizing and non-ionizing radiation. If you already know about this topic, bear with me while I break it down. Ionizing radiation is the kind that turns you into the Incredible Hulk and or gives you cancer, depending on whether you're in a comic book or not. Ionizing radiation has enough energy to damage the DNA in your cells, and that's bad. That's what has major health effects. Non-ionizing radiation is not capable of damaging your DNA. It just isn't. Chemically, atomically, at the, I don't know, physically, there's just not enough energy in it to break the chemical bonds in your cells and damage them. So what does non-ionizing radiation do? Non-ionizing radiation makes things hotter. Your microwave oven, non-ionizing radiation. So you might be thinking, well, <laughs> non-ionizing radiation hardly seems harmless if it can freaking pop popcorn and heat my drink, right? And you're right. In sufficient quantities, non-ionizing radiation absolutely can be dangerous. But the question we gotta ask is, is the amount of radiation that we're getting from the DJI goggles sufficient to be dangerous? Because the DJI goggles put out non-ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation starts around the ultraviolet frequencies, ultraviolet light, all visible light, and everything you think of as a radio frequency emission, it's all non-ionizing radiation. So Wi-Fi, cell phones, all of that stuff, non-ionizing. The only thing it can do is increase the temperature of the tissue that is, it's falling upon. And to evaluate whether that matters, I, that's why I've come outside today, and I'm doing this outside instead of in my office, because Every day, everyone who goes outside of their house is exposed to a source of primarily non-ionizing radiation, but also a little bit of ionizing radiation, the sun. Now the sun puts out lots and lots of visible light, which is all non-ionizing. It also puts out UV light, and that's why you get a sunburn. UV light giving you a sunburn is an example of ion just the barest, tiniest bit of ionizing radiation starting to affect you. So how much non-ionizing radiation does the sun put out? Well, it varies a lot depending on the latitude that you're at, the altitude that you're at, and so on. But a round number is that on a sunny day at sea level, the sun puts out about 1,000 watts, one kilowatt per square meter of area. How big is like the human face? Well, again, there are various factors, but I measured my own face and I calculated an area of about 0.1 square meter. Which means that if I'm sitting out in the sun and the sunlight is falling on my face, I'm getting about 100 watts of non-ionizing radiation falling on my face. And what's the effect of that? It does increase the temperature of my face, but like, I don't get cancer. And if I do get cancer, it's from the ionizing UV radiation, not from the non-ionizing visible radiation. Folks, it is well established medically that non-ionizing radiation is basically harmless unless it's at really, really high levels, like enough to really heat up your skin. And the, the amount of power that this guy's putting out, one watt basically, it's just nothing. It's just nothing. Now, I'm not a doctor, so 
you could take that for what it's worth. But I can look and say, uh, right now, okay, it's not a bright sunny day, so maybe I've only got 25 watts, 50 watts of sunlight falling on my face right now. Compare that to 700 milliwatts or one watt, it just doesn't seem, I mean, this is fine, I could do this all day and I'd be fine. So if you are concerned about the amount of radiation that this is putting out, I don't think you have to be. I'm not. And that's the argument that finally sort of made it click for me. Maybe that makes it click for you, or maybe you're convinced it's all a lie and I'm just part of big radiation trying to give you cancer or superpowers, one or the other. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Do you see this baby? Isn't he cute? Hit the subscribe button. Join my Patreon. Use my affiliate links. Or just keep watching videos. That's better than nothing. Cuckoo Kaka, subscribe to my daddy.